Hello everyone, uh, I'm Sam Haynes. I'm a third year PhD student in the Edward Wallace Lab, the University of Edinburgh. Today, I'm gonna to be talking and introducing TidyQPCR, which is an R package based on the extensive Tidyverse data analysis environment, but for the analysis of QPCR data. A little bit of background. So quantitative poly polymerase chain reaction, or QPCR, is a ubiquitous experiment for nucleic acid quantification. It can be used to detect COVID-19 and other diseases, but it's more openly used across biology to measure changes in gene expression. However, with this wide range uh, of usage comes an equally wide range of aptitude in designing experiments and actually conducting data analysis. Without consistent quality control and accurate descriptions of the data analysis, QPCR results are contributing to a growing reproducibility crisis in academia. As QPCR experiments are a staple in our lab, Edward and I, as part of the eLife Innovation Leaders Program, which I think Emmy is going to be talking about in the lightning talks, uh, decided to create an open source package to analyze QPCR data whilst encouraging best practices. Following previous published guidelines on how to present QPCR results, the Mike Duck guidelines, we create an inbuilt tidy QPCR functions to support the design of reproducible and interpretable experiments. Once the experiment has been conducted, the tidy QPCR analysis pipeline enables the creation of publishable graphs with consistent quality control and normalization. Currently, tidy QPCR is a fully functional package available from our GitHub repo. We're looking to add more functionality and documentation to further educate users on best practices. And please get in contact if you're interested in using TidyQPCR as we're looking to conduct further interviews and create a community for people to help each other and TidyQPCR develop. <laughs>